Good morning, everybody, and it is time for our daily calendar. Let's get started. What day do you think it is today? Right, today is Wednesday. It is hump day. Uh, Wednesday is the very middle of our week, and we can see it right here in the pink. Wednesday starts with what letter? W, and W makes the sound W, W. All right, and remember, all of our days of the week start with an uppercase or capital letter, and the other letters in the word are all lowercase. Wednesday is the longest name for a day that we have. Look at all those letters. Let's sing our days of the week song. Um, I would like for you to either clap your hands or you can snap your fingers. I had a feeling that would happen. Give me just a second. Let's go back here. There we go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. All right, good singing. Let's go now to our April calendar. We will count the days this month. We are exactly halfway through the month of April, which is wonderful news. Every day brings us closer to summertime, which is what I'm I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I have a swimming pool that I like to go swimming in. And that is the best part of summer, for sure. So um, April is up here at the top. You can see the name of our month. It also starts with a capital letter. And in this word, what sound does A make? Yes, A makes the long vowel sound where it says its name. It sounds like A instead of A. Ah. All right, let's count the days in April. Here we go. Get your pointer finger ready. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and today is drum roll, please, fifteen. There we go. So our number of the day is fifteen. And guess what? In only two more days, it will be Raymond's birthday. Very exciting. That's coming up. All right, let's look at our number of the day today, 15. We're going to draw this number in the air. So I want you to take out your markers. Let's get a pink marker today. We start at the top, and we're going to draw a straight line down. Then we go over here next to it to draw our five, and we're going to start right here at the top, in the top corner. We do a short line down and then a big curve around. Okay, then we take our pencil off the paper, start back where we started before, and draw a short line across the top. So let's look at this number 15. How many is 15? How many tens are in 15? One. There is one set of 10. And we could say this in lots of different ways. We could say this number is 10 plus 5. It's also 10 and five more, or 10 and five ones. 15 is one of our benchmark numbers. And if you listen when we count by fives, you will hear 15, because when we count by fives, we're saying all numbers that end with a five or a zero. And maybe I should, I'm gonna add that to calendar, uh, maybe for next week where we'll do some counting by tens and counting by fives. Most of you can count by tens pretty well, but fives is definitely trickier, and I want to make sure you see the pattern. So this would be something we would count when we're counting by fives. All right, let's stand up. We're gonna sing our months of the year song. Let's find April on our list. It is the fourth month of the year, and there it is in blue with a capital A. Let's sing.
Good singing, everybody. Okay, it's time to look now at our weather graph. So go on over to your window, take out your binoculars, and Okay, so I don't know about you at your house, but here at my house, we are having a bright, sunshiny day again today, which is great news. I'm so glad that we've been able to get outside. My family has been planting a garden, and I will put some pictures um, on calendar, maybe tomorrow, of us planting our garden. Rylan had a great time doing it, so I would love to see your pictures too. If you have some pictures of you planting or playing outside or learning new things, please send them to me on Dojo so I can show everybody on Dojo. So today is sunny. That makes, how many sunny days have we had in April? One, two, three sunny days. So now we have had more sunny days than any other kind of weather. How many partly cloudy days have we had? Yes, one, two partly cloudy days. And how many rainy days do you see? One, two rainy days and only one cloudy day. So cloudy is the least amount of weather that we have had. All right, let's look at our animal data graph that we started this week. I will ask you a few questions and I want you to look at the graph to give me the answers. How many people thought that chicks were the best spring baby animal? Good. Two people liked baby chicks more than any other kind of animal. And we can read our graph by counting the pictures or by taking our finger over to the side and looking at the numeral. Two people liked baby chicks. Okay. Did fewer people like ducklings or bunnies? Remember that word fewer means less. I'm looking for the smaller number. If you said duckling, you're right. There were fewer people who liked ducklings than bunnies because we know four people liked bunnies. And let's look at ducks. Ducklings, there were three people. So three is the lower number. There are fewer people who like ducklings than who like bunnies. All right, it's time for us to sing. Today, I want to sing Good Morning, Little Bluebird. Remember, this song um, has some hand motions that we talked about last time if you want to try them out. So you can fly like a little bird and um, you can tweet like a little bird. And I want you to listen to the words and learn the song so you can sing with me. Here we go.
All right, everybody, that is it for me today. I hope that you are having a wonderful week and I will see you back here next time. Bye.